Whoever rules the depths of the ocean ultimately commands the land and the skies. Today, Russian President Vladimir Putin may be deep in thought, not because of Washington or Beijing alone, but because a new discussion has begun in global defense circles, one that stretches from Moscow to Washington and all the way to Beijing. For years, the world believed that the most dangerous submarine-launched ballistic missiles, SLBMs, belonged exclusively to Russia. Missiles like the RSM-56 Bulava gave Moscow enormous confidence. The assumption was simple. No emerging power could come close to mastering this level of underwater nuclear technology. That assumption is now being challenged by India. India's defense scientists at DRDO are working on a weapon so powerful that its specifications have reportedly stunned even seasoned Russian experts. The weapon is known as the K-5 missile. And make no mistake, K-5 is not just another missile, India's second strike backbone. The K-5 missile represents the core of India's second strike nuclear capability, the ability to retaliate even after absorbing a first nuclear attack. Currently, India operates K-15 Sagarika with a range of about 750 kilometers K-4, with a range of approximately 3,500 kilometers. Both missiles have been successfully tested and are already being deployed on Indian nuclear submarines. But K-5 changes the entire strategic picture. What makes K-5 so dangerous? K-5 is a submarine-launched ballistic missile, SLBM, meaning it is fired from a submarine hidden deep beneath the ocean surface. The enemy won't see it, the enemy won't hear it, and the enemy won't know where it came from. According to defense analysts and media reports, K-5 is expected to have a range between 5,000 and 8,000 kilometers. This means an Indian submarine operating safely from the Bay of Bengal could strike targets as far as Beijing, Harbin, and deep northern regions of China without ever leaving protected waters. Invisible power is always the most dangerous kind, challenging Russia's Bulava. Russia's pride, the Bulava missile, boasts a range exceeding 8,000 kilometers, six to 10 nuclear warheads, MIRV capability, multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles. For years, Russia believed that a country like India could never develop comparable technology without foreign dependence, especially because underwater missile launch is among the hardest engineering challenges in rocket science. Why? Because a missile cannot ignite its main engine underwater. Doing so would destroy the submarine itself. India's cold launch breakthrough, the K-5, will use an advanced cold launch system. Here's how it works. A gas generator ejects the missile out of the submarine. Once the missile clears the water and enters the air, its main engine ignites. This process is precise, safe, and extremely complex. India already proved this technology with the K-4 missile. The K-5 will simply be a heavier, more powerful evolution of that system. Solid fuel, instant readiness, K-5 will be powered by solid fuel, giving it a massive advantage, no hours of preparation, launch ready within minutes, higher survivability and reliability than liquid fuel missiles. In short, always ready to fire. Is K-5 better than Agni-5? Strategically, yes. Agni-5 is land-based. It depends on transport vehicles. It can be tracked by satellites. K-5, on the other hand, remains hidden in the depths of the ocean, sometimes for months at a time. You cannot stop what you cannot find. The submarines behind the missile. To deploy K-5, India is building a new generation of nuclear submarines. The S-4-S-4 class SSBNs are nearly twice the size of INS Arihant, capable of carrying 8 to 12 K-5 missiles. Imagine a moving underwater fortress carrying a dozen nuclear missiles capable of striking any corner of the globe. This is where India steps into the league of the United States, Russia, and China. MIRV, the real game changer. The most dangerous feature of K-5 is expected to be MIRV technology. India already demonstrated this capability during mission Divyastra using Agni-5. K-5 is likely to carry four to six nuclear warheads, each capable of hitting a different target simultaneously. This overwhelms and confuses enemy anti-ballistic missile ABM systems, increasing the chances of successful penetration. Why China is concerned? China possesses SLBMS like JL-2 and JL-3, reportedly with ranges up to 10,000 kilometers, but China faces a geographic disadvantage. 
To enter the Indian Ocean, Chinese submarines must pass through narrow choke points where the Indian Navy maintains constant surveillance. India, on the other hand, enjoys home water advantage, able to strike China without leaving its secure maritime zone.